sometimes it is necessary to create sketches used for cutting sheet metal parts that use already bent geometry to define the new geometry as to size, location, rotation, etc. The cut normal command allows the cutting of holes with edges normal to the face of the metal using sketches that are not normal to the face. To begin, create a new sketch on the top of the perpendicular bend by selecting the end face of the bend and selecting Create Sketch. The Sketch tab is now active where you will select the Project Geometry command. Zoom in and select the upper edge of the angled flange's bend radius. The line is projected up to your sketch. Now, select the down arrow on the Project Geometry command to access the Project Cut Edges command. Window select all of the projected geometry, right click, and choose Construction from the Marking menu. Now you will add some simple sketch geometry. On the Ribbon, Sketch tab, Create Panel, select the Circle command and draw a circle between the projected lines on the right side. Press the Escape key to exit the command. On the Constraint panel, select the Dimension command. Select the left line, then hover the cursor over the circle until you see the dimension to tangent glyph, then click. Type 2 and press Enter. Do the same thing on the other side, then right click and select OK. Now you need to horizontally constrain the circle to the center of the sheet metal part. In the Constraint panel, select the horizontal constraint, then click the center point of the circle. Complete the command by hovering over the construction line representing the edge of the part and scrub along it until the center point is reached, then click to complete the command. Press Escape to end the command, and then exit the sketch environment by clicking the Finish Sketch command on the exit panel of the ribbon. On the Modify panel, Select the Cut command. The Cut dialog box appears and the circle is pre-selected as it is the only closed profile in the window. You now need to select the extents of the operation. In the Extents group, select All from the drop-down and click OK. Notice that the cut was created normal to the plane that the sketch was created on. Double click the cut feature you just created in the browser. In the shape section, select the cut normal option and then press enter. The cut is now normal to the face of the sheet metal. If the profile would have overlapped the corner of the part, causing two different normals, then the procedure would fail as a cut normal operation. Cut normal excels at creating cuts normal to a particular face of a part using secondary sketches such as those created from projected geometry from a part itself or from other parts or assemblies within the assembly environment.